welcome to that movie show where we review the latest movie on the go. Hey, ho, ho! I'm not turning this into a musical. Nah. Hello everybody and welcome to that movie show where we review the latest movies coming to a cinema near you. I'm Lena and for this week I reviewed Into the Woods. You wish to have a curse reversed? Now, Into the Woods is a fantasy musical movie directed by Rob Marshall, made by Disney. Now, the movie features well-known actors such as Meryl Streep, Emily Blunt, and Johnny Depp. The plot of the movie is that Mr. Baker, played by James Corden, is cursed by the witch, played by Meryl Streep, because of his father's past mistakes. The curse is that he and his wife, played by Emily Blunt, cannot have children. Now, to lift the curse, the Baker couple has to collect different items and give them to the witch. On our way to finding these different items, they meet on different characters from different fairy tales, such as Cinderella, Rapunzel, Red Riding Hood, and Jack from Jack and Beanstalk. And I say no more. And now on to review time! What makes this movie cool is that there are different fairy tales mixed in all together into one world and one story. They live side by side and they interact with each other. Another thing I liked, which is highly discussed, is that Disney decided to keep the real morbid parts of the real fairy tales. Such as, like, not for spoilers, but cutting people's feet off. What? I say no more. Now on to the bad sides. If you're not a musical lover or you don't like singing in movies in general, you may find this movie kind of long and kind of boring. Now, before you go and watch this movie, you have to remember that this movie is an adaptation of the musical with the same name. And Disney has tried to stay put with the musical, making it a two-hour joyride with singing in almost every scene. Yay for musical lovers! And nay for people who don't like musicals in general, because after about one hour into it, you're going to start looking at your watch. Another downside about the movie is the focus in the story. The story is about the bakers, but because there are so many side stories to be told, it makes it somewhat confusing, but stay put, in the end it all gets interweaved. Now, the upside of the movie is the phenomenal job of the cast members. Everyone sings crystal clear, and they do a good job at the acting. But the MVP of the movie goes to Meryl Streep. She lifts the movie, making it worth the two hours of actually seeing it. Johnny Depp is also featured for about 10 minutes. The songs in the movie are also really catchy and you're probably going to start humming them after you've seen the movie. Now, the final verdict. If you enjoy musicals and you like singing, you're probably gonna love this movie. If not, you may struggle getting through the whole movie. Now, the story in the movie is great, but in the middle part of it, it gets kind of confusing, but in the end, it all plays out. The honest line of this is, it may fit better as a musical. Now on to the rating system. Out of 5 Wicked Witches, I give it a 3 out of 5. That's it for this installment of That Movie Show, and we'll see you next time. Bye!